All right, so I wanted to tell you about my little experiment. I made a, uh, a 29 band sidechain EQ. And basically what this gives me the ability to do is sidechain certain frequencies while leaving all the other frequencies alone. So instead of it having that ducking sound that sidechain is popular for, you're just ducking a certain frequency to let another frequency jump through. For example, oftentimes a kick drum and a bass sound will fight for the same frequency. This would be a way where you could sidechain the bass sound without cutting the whole bass sound out, just the lower frequencies, whenever the kick hits. Uh, so it doesn't sound like it's sidechaining. This will also work really good for live bands and stuff. Let's say you have two guitar players and there's a certain lead part that that isn't cutting through because the other guitar has the same frequencies that are fighting. Well, if you're able to sidechain the second guitar so that the lead can cut through, then both guitars will sound clean and full, but the lead sound will, will still cut through the mix. So it's like a sneaky way of pulling down the volume just at a certain frequency band and thus give you the ability to kind of do complex mixes and get as much clarity as possible throughout the mix. Also with something like this, if something is fighting with, let's say, two different instruments, you can actually side chain out two different in instruments on two different frequency bands at the same time. So. That's kind of the idea that I was thinking when I made this sidechain EQ. And I'll give you an example of how I put it to use. I have this little loop basically, this, just this little uh, pattern that I made, which has drums and a sub bass. And in most cases this would really fight through and the, the kick would have a lot of trouble cutting through the mix. Or it would sound over overdriven. I'll go ahead and play this and show you. So what's good about this is it doesn't sound like the bass is being cut out even though the kick is, is cutting through. And the kick's cutting through in two different ways. It's cutting through in the sub bass frequency, but it's also cutting through up in this frequency here. If I solo this, you'll hear the little snap that I've emphasized. If I take this out, you... If you're listening on good speakers, you, you'll be able to hear that little snap. And I wanted that to be able to cut through too. So what I've done is I put my multiband sidechain on both the sub bass and also on the drums. Well, the drums that don't have the kick. So this here. Oh, let me. So that's the kick as it normally is with the compressor on. This is it without and with it on. So not a, not a big difference there, but if I solo the part that I have sidechained, you'll notice a pretty big difference. So it pushes the sound down every time that comes through. So that when the kick hits, you're hearing the kick really clearly. And what I've also done, so basically in this case, I'm just, uh, every band has an EQ at a certain range and a compressor that's turned off. So all I do is I go to the frequency range I want and turn it on. Other times if I want a wider frequency range, I'll just set that in one band and then I'll delete the other ranges that I don't need. All right, so now I'll go to the sub bass. Well here, let me uh, turn the solo off here. And the sub bass basically sounds like 
this with the compressor on and with it off. So as you can hear, you're, you're not really missing a whole lot of the bass. It, it sounds pretty close to the same. But you are missing some of those lower frequencies whenever the kick hits. So if we listen to that, that's between the range of 30 hertz and 100 hertz. You'll be able to hear a difference. That's without the sidechain compression. And this is with it. And then all together, that kick comes through really nicely. So that's just a little stupid pattern that I made just for this uh, tutorial. But basically, it gives you an idea of a new way to battle with. Uh, fighting frequencies. So um, I hope that gives you some ideas. I'll uh, make this little preset that I made available so you can use it if you want to.